today I'm going to take another look at my Arrows RC Bigfoot. It's a 1.3 meter wingspan RC airplane and, and this is one of the best high wing RC airplanes I currently own. I think this is just uh, up there with uh, planes like the uh, Turbo uh, Timber Evolution uh, or uh, the, the Clip Wing Cub also. Uh, so I mean this is a really fantastic flying RC airplane. It's also featured with flaps and LED lights. Uh, and the only thing missing is actually floats on this RC airplane. So what I've done for modification, I've actually replaced the ESC inside. So I do have a 30 amp Avian ESC to give me telemetry data to my TX. And I also, uh, it might be a little difficult to see, but uh, this edge, uh, the paint does scrape off really easy. So I just had some uh, matching uh, tape on this edge and I've done the same thing on my E-Flight more, uh, and as you can see I have the uh, EC3 connector over here, so it's really easy to, to connect my Spectrum batteries. And I, I don't have a strap in this one, so I only have a Velcro uh, strip uh, taped to the plywood board, and it's more than enough to just keep the battery in place. And I always fly this on a 2200 milliamp battery, 3S or 4S, I think 3S works just fine, but with 4S you actually have the extra power. I rarely use full power on 4S, but it's good to actually have the power. And this plane just flies fantastic, so let's head outside and do another flight on this Bigfoot. Today's flight is on a 3S 2200 milliamp battery. There is some gusty wind today. You can fly this on 3S and 4S at least. Uh, I can do it because I swapped the ESC. Uh, and if you own this one, you really have to check if the ESC does support 4S. The 4S is. It is it is a little bit more fun, but 3S surely works just as fine. And you can fly inverted all day with this big foot. It's so easy. It's one of the easiest uh, RS airplanes I have to fly inverted, actually. Even when there's kind of gusty wind, it doesn't behave bad in any way. It's really rock solid uh, RC airplane the Bigfoot. And this is a 1.3 meter wingspan RC airplane, so it's comparable to planes like the FMS Kingfisher or the uh, FMS Ranger 1220, for instance, and even like the Night Timber X, the Timber X. Uh, they are the same kind of size class and they feature uh, more or less the same things, not the range then, but the other was airplanes. But I think this is actually, it's more fun to fly this one than the FMS Kingfisher. I think the Kingfisher is actually a better beginner RC airplane because it's easier and it's also featured with floats. Uh, but uh, if you're just a little bit experienced, I think you will enjoy this Bigfoot much more. I really think it's a great flying RC airplane. Let's get it down then for a try landing. A little bit bouncy, but it's difficult to get, get it down in a good way when you have like gusty wind to take into account. And even with these uh, if you have like a rough landing, the landing gears are super solid. And so far I haven't had any problems taking off from even from longer grass uh, on, on the grass field. And snap rose does uh, surely work on 3S as well. It is of course more, more fun on 4S. But you can still maneuver the, this plane in a good way even on 3S batteries.
and rolls also also much uh, better than the uh, for instance than the Kingfisher on on 3S. And if I will compare that again to the FMS Ranger 1220, I think the Ranger flies different. It's more like a flies like the E-Flight Valiant. So it's a speedier RC airplane. Uh, but both this one and the FMS Ranger 1220, then they are kind of look alike to a Cessna 150. Share like the same style, and you can actually also I think install flaps in the Ranger uh, by just cutting out the foam and adding some servos. The wind does kick it around a little bit. It's a really difficult just to tell the wind direction because the wind is shifting. I think I would do like a sideways line landing. I had a blast to fly this uh, Aeros uh, RC Bigfoot. I think it's a fantastic one to do all sort of aerobatics. And in fact, I prefer much more to fly something like this than a true uh, like aerobatic 3D RC airplane. Because this one is really predictable. You can fly really scale if you like, and you can just uh, rip the sky with it or just go you know, inverted or, or loops and rolls and, and whatnot. And it, it, this one does also have a really snappy snap roll uh, performance as well. And I think when it comes to inverted flying, uh, you don't have to pull much elevator on this one. It just stays really level and you have lots of, of control just to, to keep it level and, and to maneuver it around. I think uh, maybe the, the, the flaps doesn't really work as good as some of the E-Flight RC airplanes, but I think they work just fine. So I have a bit of an elevator down mix. I think I have like 3% for half flaps and around 10 to 12% for full flaps, which on my big for them works just great. And I think this, this uh, I mean, the paint on this one, it's really simple. And I actually kind of prefer when you have no paint on the edges, uh, because then if you like ding this one, the, the paint doesn't get scraped, so it's only foam. So as, as I said, I mean, the, the foam does rub off on, on this um, part. And over here, so that's something that if you just want to have some tape to, to make it more pretty. And, and even the landing gears have been working just fantastic. It's kind of hard wheels, but uh, I mean, it's just a forgiving RC airplane and you actually have like clips for the, for the wing struts as well. So, I mean, in all in all, it's just a fantastic flying and a fantastic RC airplane tone in this Bigfoot.